first of two media clips to talk about the matter of network design. We're going to look at it from uh, two different ways of thinking. The first way is a rather small view of the problem. We're going inside a small office situation and going to use a case study uh, from the textbook and talk about it for just a couple of minutes. And then we'll take a larger view, a little bit more the theoretical approach to uh, networking. And we will follow the ideas put forth uh, in, in the text. That is where we are uh, headed. And we'll begin by considering a, a small office, uh, a small situation in which 20 uh, employees are going to work in one space. Uh, 15 of a different kind of employee are going to work in another space. And these people need to be networked. Question is, what boxes do we use? What wires do we use? What is the thinking and, and uh, what is the logic? So you're joining 35 machines. You can assume that there's one and 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 so on and each one of these has a network card and each one of these has a wire of some kind. Likewise over here. You can assume that somewhere is a server, uh, a network server and maybe you can assume the wires are gathered up and bundled somewhere. So let's take a look. Proposal is that a network card goes into every machine and a wire comes out. Another network card and then a wire. Another network card and then a wire. I would say the, the way this one is drawn, these wires don't really touch like that. The wires all actually find their way to a hub. Let's take the administrative folks first. Each one of these people has a wire that plugs somewhere and ultimately finds it, its way to a hub. Maybe the hub is just sitting on the floor and each computer runs a wire to it. Or maybe the hub is somewhere down the hall and each wire from each PC is snapped into the wall. This drawing, just let it be simplified. We didn't want too, too much spaghetti wiring showing. But the point is, cable running from each PC to a hub in this room and cable running from each PC to a hub in that room. You can see these group of people snapped in and these group of people snapped in. Certainly it can be done that way. If you want to splice into the wire, you've already seen drawings that show that splicing is possible, particularly with Ethernet. But the point is, hubs gather up the connections here and here. Now, what kind of wire? Recommendations from the text are to use category 5. It's fast, but it's not the, the blistering fast cable, but it's what we need for these kind of connections. Now, hub is joined to hub with higher speed cable, fiber cable. So when all of these folks have been joined to this hub, when all of these folks have been joined to that hub, and when the two hubs have been strung together, everything is ready so we can plug in a network server and we are in business. We have a self-contained local area network. If we uh, want to grow a little bit, namely let that, let that local area network stretch out to the, the broader world of a wide area network or the internet work, we need to attach a second box to our network called a router and of course it carries a database and now you have uh, added the outside world through the interface that goes to a T1 line or a higher speed circuit. So we're adding a router and then a CSU DSU and then a high speed line. Everything will plug in. This kind of server, another kind of server, another kind of server, another kind of server, even a router all join together. Now let's uh, grow up. Let's worry about everybody having too much fun surfing the internet and watching days of our lives online and we need to segment the net network and keep the traffic from this group of people away from the traffic of this group of people. 
maybe we want to add another server for database uh, some other functions in that case we get rid of the hubs we migrate to switches and we have that capability now to program our switches and, uh, and partition off the various segments of our network we're going to go to continuation but I break it into a separate media stream these were just thoughts physical uh, notions uh, about wires and cables and when to use cat5 and when to use fiber cable the next media stream will pick up and what we have in mind is uh, a kind of a more theoretical uh, more generalized comments about the thinking in network design from the point of view of the, 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 the whole cycle of implementation so let a pause happen and uh, then you can see the uh, sequel to this uh, to this segment